The full-scale war in Ukraine against the Russian Federation continues, and the Ukrainian side can win, the balance of power is again on its side. The situation is already changing in Kiev's favor, according to an article by former Norwegian military attaché to Ukraine Hans Petter Midtun for The Telegraph. According to the expert, the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region will help change the course of the war. The author noted that Ukraine's advantage, in particular, is that its defense industry and the Western defense industry are still in the process of increasing production. Russia's ability to increase defense industry output has already peaked and is at maximum capacity. It is experiencing a record labor shortage of 4.8 million people. Teenagers, seniors, and even prisoners are filling the gaps in the Russian workforce, the article notes. Midton stressed that Western sanctions are preventing Russia from producing existing high-tech weapons on a large scale and, no less importantly, from developing new ones. With Western support, Ukraine is gradually defeating Russia. Ukraine is using technological innovations to counter Russia's quantitative advantages, manpower, artillery, main battle tanks, armored personnel carriers, combat aircraft, and navy, the article says. The expert added that the influx of Western ammunition is growing, and the production of the defense industry in Ukraine, the United States and Europe is expanding. The West is slowly, and reluctantly, lifting restrictions on Ukraine's use of Western-made weapons. Ukrainian weapons are penetrating deeper and deeper into Russia, the analyst emphasized. The former military attaché drew attention to the fact that Russia is paying an extremely high price for a small advance into Ukraine. Russia's casualty rate is currently higher than its ability to generate manpower. While its manpower is close to unlimited, its heavy weapons are not. It is slowly burning through its stockpiles of old tanks, armored personnel carriers, and artillery. Its air defense is depleted. More than a third of the Black Sea fleet has been destroyed, the expert emphasized. The lightning fast Ukrainian invasion of Russia's Kursk region has exceeded all expectations. But as The Economist writes, the question is whether Ukraine can turn short term gains into long term strategic advantage. Russia's failure to mount a swift counter-attack has puzzled some Ukrainian officers. Rather than moving troops from Donbass to Kursk, the Kremlin may be planning an asymmetrical response, such as a rocket attack on the government quarter of Kiev, writes The Economist, adding that Putin is not yet under much pressure from domestic public opinion. Russians are aware of the invasion, but the media are downplaying the danger, and news of the chaos has not reached most citizens. Yet, according to The Economist, progress has been so rapid and the Russians so slow to respond that Ukraine may be reconsidering its goals. The initial goals were to boost the morale of its own people and give new confidence to Ukraine's Western backers that it deserved more military support. Ukraine also wanted the Kremlin to divert troops from the front lines, especially in the Donetsk region, the newspaper writes. At the same time, retired Australian General Mick Ryan believes that if Russia starts moving more capable troops into the area, the Ukrainians will have three options. The first, maximalist approach, is to try to hold on to the captured territory or even push further to draw more Russian troops out of Ukraine and gain leverage in future negotiations. But this is risky, Ryan notes, since Ukraine will have a hard time maintaining electronic warfare and air defense against even well-entrenched troops over such a wide area. The second option is to retreat to the border, preserving troops and equipment to try to retake Ukrainian territory next year. Ukraine would show that it can wage war on Russia and undermine the narrative of an inevitable Russian victory. A third option would be a partial withdrawal to a more defensible position near the Ukrainian border, which would require fewer troops and better artillery and logistical support. This would also serve as a base for further attacks when opportunities arise. As a source for the economist in the Ukrainian general staff notes, this is the most likely option. Part of the material and technical resources, engineering troops, fuel, field hospitals, food and repair bases have already been transferred several kilometers deep into the Russian border.